Hi friends, welcome to One Minute Classroom from BiologyExamsForYou.com. Today's topic is Blackman's Law of Limiting Factor with an example. As we all know, photosynthesis is a process that is controlled by many factors like water availability, carbon dioxide, sunlight, then chlorophyll, glucose is produced during the process along with oxygen, even oxygen is a factor that controls photosynthesis. Think of a situation. If all the factors are optimum, except carbon dioxide, this leaf can utilize 5 mg of carbon dioxide per hour. If we are supplying 1 mg, consider that all other factors are in optimum concentration, then carbon dioxide becomes the limiting factor or the factor that is in minimum amount. When we increase the concentration of carbon dioxide gradually from 1 mg to 5 mg, this will happen. When the carbon dioxide concentration is increased, the rate of photosynthesis also shoots up gradually, increases gradually, till reaching the optimum that is 5 mg. Beyond 5 mg, if we are increasing the concentration, there won't be any effect. This is Blackman's law. Blackman's law of limiting factor states that when a process is controlled to its rapidity by a number of factors, the rate of the process is limited by the pace of the slowest factor or factor that is present in minimum amount. If we increase the concentration of carbon dioxide, which is a factor that is in minimum amount, then the rate of photosynthesis increases or in other words the rate of process is limited by the pace of the slowest factor hope you understand the concept thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com please subscribe share and like